watching UATV News. My name is Ina Kosinska. Good evening. Losses in Donbass. One Ukrainian soldier killed because of the shelling by illegal armed groups. Ukraine notified the OSCE special monitoring mission about the cynical violation of the ceasefire. On January 11, six ceasefire violation cases recorded in the area of the Joint Forces operation near the Pisky village. The enemy delivered fire using large caliber machine gun, small arms and sniper rifles. As a result of enemy shelling, one military of Ukrainian armed forces was killed. Joint Forces Command expresses deep and sincere condolences to soldiers' relatives. Ukrainian soldiers fired in response to the enemy shelling. The G7 will continue supporting Ukraine. The statement was made by the ambassadors of the G7 states. The UK has become the leader of the group of ambassadors this year. A complete list of priorities in rendering assistance to Ukraine is planned to be provided within a month. What will the G7 do under the UK presidency? As we have since 2015, we will continue to engage with the Ukrainian authorities, experts and civil society to support Ukraine in delivering reforms which boost economic development for the benefit of all Ukrainians. The International Monetary Fund mission resumed its work in Ukraine. Its representatives intend to meet with the Ukrainian government and discuss the latest economic events, as well as measures and reforms necessary to complete the first revision of the standby program. Earlier, the IMF published a schedule of debt repayment by Ukraine until 2036. This year, the country has to pay 1 billion 600 million US dollars. The police has started investigating the fact of damage of the Urenhoi Pomare Ushurot gas pipeline. An investigative and operational group continues working at the site. Law enforcers are working out all versions of the causes of the accident. After the completion of pre-trial investigation, there will be more information when the investigators find out everything. After the corresponding conclusions of the experts are obtained, the reason will be found out. Now all versions are being worked out by the investigative operational group within the frameworks of open criminal proceedings under Part 3 of Article 292 of the Criminal Code of Ukraine. To remind, on January 9th, part of the gas pipeline exploded in Poltava region. The rescuers could not extinguish the fire for about 15 hours. For almost a day, 17 settlements remained without gas supply. The accident did not affect the transit of fuel to the EU. Health Minister Maxim Stepanov called tightening of quarantine from January 8 to January 24 a strategic decision. The incidence of seasonal flu is growing amid the coronavirus pandemic, and the restrictions will help cope with the burden on medical facilities. So far, the daily growth rate of patients with COVID-19 is the lowest in the last three months. Of the past day, 4,288 new cases. 1,372 people have been hospitalized. The highest incidence rates are in the capital as well as in the Kyiv, Zaporizhia and Odessa regions. We had holidays that predicted that there would be large crowds of people near the Christmas trees and during other celebrations. We predict an increase in the number of infected. At the same time, the number of flu patients is seasonally increasing. All the seasonality will begin from the third week of the year. On this and the next week, we will monitor the increase in the number of patients with flu. For the first time, the government has warned about new anti-epidemic restrictions a month ago. However, Ukrainians seem to lack information on what is prohibited and what is allowed. Moreover, many do not verify the information they read on the Internet. Our correspondent will tell you more. Do not go outside without need, wear masks and keep distance. This is what most of people remember about the quarantine rules. Some places have their own rules. That is only walking in a mask and social distancing. You can't go shopping, or rather not, you can't go to shops, you can't just walk down the street. I don't watch TV and I don't know what lockdown is. However, some have studied the list of restrictions that will be valid the following fortnight. Gyms are completely banned. All entertainment centers are closed. Grocery stores are allowed. Shopping centers, entertainment centers and other stores are closed. Ukrainians were angry with inconsistencies concerning the restrictions of sales. They wonder why are sales of non-food products banned while they're standing right on neighboring shelves with food. The Minister of Health explains that the fewer products are available, the fewer people are in the store. 
These quarantine restrictions were not invented by President of Ukraine, Prime Minister or the Minister of Health simply because they wanted to. These norms were developed taking into account the opinion of leading Ukrainian epidemiologists and infectious disease specialists as well as in accordance with international experience. Until the 24th of January, public transport in cities, intercity and international travels are allowed without any restrictions. Banks, post offices, hotels, gas stations, hairdressers are working as well. Sports events of professional clubs can be held without audience. Sales of food products, household chemicals, press, medicines, veterinary drugs and animal feed are allowed. The work of educational institutions, except for kindergartens, is prohibited. Restaurants, cafes and bars are takeaway only. Shopping and entertainment centers and non-food markets Markets, sports clubs and swimming pools are also closed. Mass cultural events are prohibited. However, ignoring of the quarantine rules is not as surprising as the wide range of fakes about the pandemic. We have also learned some examples of folk creativity. Probably there were some other laboratory experiments and it was just released into crowds. I don't know about China, America or Bill Gates. The virus is alleged to control the masses. There are lots of people in China and they want to get rid of pensioners. Why do people believe those fakes, given there is a lot of reliable information about the coronavirus? People tend to believe in such fakes because it's easier to believe in this rather than in some logical explanation of where the virus came from, why this whole pandemic is happening. And it seems to me that people are looking for reasons. Why is this happening now? Basically, these are conspiracy theories that are easier to believe because they are easier to perceive and they are quite emotional. It is not that difficult to obtain reliable information, experts say. It is worth visiting the sites of pages in social networks of the Ministry of Health of Ukraine, the Center for Public Health and the World Health Organization. Reported by Nick Starkov, Valery Bakus, Serhii Savchuk, UATV News. Chilling methods of strengthening of one's immune system. Kiev ice swimmers plunge into the Dnipro in any weather. They say this is not only invigorates, but also helps to fight the disease. Our journalist knows more about winter swimming secrets. He feels great and does not complain about his age. Roman is 70. He says swimming in cold water helps him to keep good spirit and health. Everything preserves better in the cold, even products, not to mention people. People start feeling inspired, warm and are ready to move. Swimmers aren't hurried to enter the icy water. First, they do the exercise and run. <laughs> then they plunge into the river, but they don't stay in water for long, otherwise it is possible to get hypothermia. You can stay in water up to 10 seconds. When you go into the water, your body temperature does not change. And after 10 seconds, the body gives signals. First, the fingers become numb, the ears, the limbs. Then you have to get out of the water. Winter swimming lovers say that such procedures help to improve the immune system, which is especially important during a pandemic. And some say that they've managed to cure complicated diseases. I was very sick, came here and recovered. And I'm after a stroke. I began walking again and it became easier. I already speak well and I walk well. It cheers the body. When you dive in winter, the old cells die and the young ones recover and you feel like you are 40. As for me, the water is icy. Two degrees outside, I would never dare to swim in the icy water. But our operator was so impressed that he decided to join the Kiev winter swimmers. Art requires sacrifice. The water is good. I wish everyone health. To keep oneself in good shape, winter swimmers advise to take a dip once or twice a week, regardless of the season. Reported by Nick Starkov, Artem Golub, UATV News. Ukrainian Yuliana Tunitska won the bronze medal of the European Tobogganing Championship. An athlete from Kremenets competed in the category up to 23 years in the single sled discipline. The Continental Championship was held in the Latvian city of Sigulda. The first time the traditional Odessa Christmas tram parade was held without passengers. The decorated transport traveled along two 20-kilometer roads. The drivers and conductors were in the costumes of traditional holiday symbols. An Orthodox choir sang in the salon. Their carols were heard in the streets through loudspeakers. The parade was attended by two 30-meter trams. A year ago, they were assembled by employees of the Odessa State Enterprise of Urban Electric Transport. Since then, the transport has been running on the city roads. 
I want to cheer up people, even if the weather is not that cheerful. Still, I want to please them, even during quarantine. They depart from the depot number one along the tram road 26. It will reach Luzdovska station, turn around and go into the opposite direction. The end point is Starosinna Square. Children will be given sweets and gifts. That's all for this hour. Thank you for watching UATV News. Goodbye.